हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मिस्टर डोंगरे एन टी फ्रॉम श्री वृद्धेश्वर जूनियर कॉलेज तिजगा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर न्यू पोयम टू पॉइंट फोर अपॉन वेस्ट मिनिस्टर ब्रिज स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न अबाउट आइस ब्रेकर्स इन द पोयम हियर अ ब्रिज कनेक्ट्स पीपल एट आइदर साइड्स ऑफ अ रिवर और वैलीज इन सिटीज और विलेजेस You have to discuss with your partner the importance of bridge to both cities and the villages and complete the table. While completing the table, we have to study about cities and villages in case of the use of bridge. In the city, bridge connects all the important areas. While in the village, bridges can connect to the villages to the main roadways and across. the difficult mountaineering or rivers bridges can interconnected connect villages and villages to the city highways city highways in the city people can easily go to and from all parts of suburban areas at the same time in the villages people can get health care health care services they can access safely throughout the year nearby cities by using bridges in cities residential areas commercial areas and shopping areas any other type of areas convenient uh, uh, interconnected through bridges while uh, in the villages bridges allows to the farmers to sell their product to the market through bridges from valley valley areas or complicated areas like riverside areas then bridges may provide us the shortest ways to go to the other location and in the villages also people can go to the remote villages by using bridges then our second topic is building a bridge needs careful planning think about what goes on before the actual construction begins before going to prepare a bridge we have to make a proper planning then we have to find out what type of rock on which what type of rock is on which we are going to build a bridge then third thing what uh, third thing we have to uh, consider that is the what kind of traffic what kind of load is there and according to that the traffic and load we have to prepare bridge fourth thing what type of what kind of bridge is the best as per our requirement that is also the considerable thing fifth one is uh what is the environmental factors around the place then next thing is you might have visited bridge Uh, you have to complete the web describing uh, describing the sites you could see from the bridge student we can see various types of sites that can be seen from the bridge we can see big trees from the bridge we can see sunset and sunrise to see sunset and sunrise some people go on uh, to the bridge then we can see the scenery of the water mountains hills and around the location then we can see roads buildings towers other structures temples from the bridge then students we have to learn about the poet this poem is uh, composed by william wordsworth he is very famous leading poet 
William Wordsworth was born on April 7th, 1770. He was a major English romantic poet who was an honored poet laureate of the United Kingdom in the court of Queen Victoria. He got he got honor uh, he honored as a poet of laureate by the Queen Victoria. From 1843 43, until his death on 23rd uh, April 1815, he is a leading English nature poet. He is famous nature poet. His collection of poetry, lyrical ballads, is considered as the central work of romantic literary theory. His work, lyrical ballads, is considered as centered central work of romantic literary theory the poem upon westminster bridge is one of the best example of his romantic poems it is romantic poem it is one of the romantic poem and it is the best example of romantic poem upon westminster bridge is a petrarchan sonnet petrarchan sonnet means student it has 14 lines in one stanza there are eight lines and in another stanza six lines in that the petrarchan sonnet in which william wordsworth describes the beauty of the bridge here in this poem the poet describes the beauty of the bridge as seen at a dawn from the westminster bridge london the then world had to still experience the industrial revolution the poet was enthralled by the perano panoramic landscape, beauty, calm and quiet nature before him, in front of him. This poem was first published in the collection of poems in two volumes in 1807. Huh, student, upon Westminster Bridge, now we will see some of the lines of this poem. We will describe it, we will explain it thoroughly. Earth has not anything to show more. Earth has not anything to show more fear. Dull would be he of soul who could pass by. A sight so touching in its majesty. This city now doth like a garment. Wear the beauty of the morning silent bear. Ships, towers, domes, Theatres and temples lie open unto the fields and to the sky, all bright and glittering in the smokeless air. My friends, the poet describes spontaneously, he composed the lines after lines. There is a great meaning between two words, between two lines, hidden meaning. There is a great meaning between two words and between two lines of William Wordsworth. Full of meaning. Earth has not anything to show more fear. Earth has not anything to show more fear. According to the poet, Earth has not anything to show more fear means there is no place on the earth which is as beautiful as this one that actually he has seen today at the dawn. No place will be there in the world as beautiful as this one, William Wordsworth says. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by. He also declares that the person who will not see the beauty, will the uninterested person who will not see his beauty, will be dull person he will be dull person a sight so touching in its majesty the sight is touching it means that it is topmost beauty it is topmost beauty it was never and will be never it was never will be never like this this city now doth that means uh, it is old english word for Dutch. The city now does, that means does, like a garment. Like a garment means 
the city is compared with the garment like garment we are the beauty of the morning the poet says us that the city has worn the garment of morning morning scene morning scene is uh, too much beautiful like beautiful garment it is and the scene is very silent bear means unspoiled untouched it means that nothing is started industrial area is not started up it the beauty of the morning is compared with a beautiful garment it is not spoiled it is silent calm sheep towers domes theaters and temples all the factors of the city lie open unto the field and to the sky all beautiful scenery of sheep man made sheep sheep are man made but it looks very very beautiful at dawn the poet sees towers big big buildings domes beautiful arches theaters it means that uh, the people are very happy romantic people using theaters temples beautiful temples are there lie open unto the fields they are on this field and to the sky they are reached to the sky big buildings are there so the poet is very very fulfilled his mind is very very fulfilled okay student